Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Total War Medieval Kingdoms 1212 campaign. We are now back again with our French campaign and things have gone pretty goddamn well. I definitely can't complain. We've managed to secure France and Aquitaine. We also vassalized the whole of Provence. We have Burgundy as a vassal and now we have made our moves into Iberia taking basically three provinces away from Aragon as well as the Caliphate down here. We are currently still defending our provinces. There's a full stack of Caliphate infantry right there of just crossbows and crossbow cavalry. Now this is an issue that I think multiple people have brought up and that's the reason why this campaign is going through an alpha testing phase so that stuff like this can be fixed and when you guys get your hands on the mod it obviously stuff like this won't be an issue it'll be completely gone and they'll have proper armies which is something I'm definitely looking forward to because we're just unfortunately having to auto resolve our way through these battles maybe we'll fight one of these if we find another army but you know I'm definitely going to try and auto resolve this battle against the watch as well as that unfortunately Genoa declared war on me well they declared war on one of my vassals which was really unfortunate because we had just married our daughter to the Genoan king or I guess he's not really a king is he he's uh because he's a republic right is Genoa a republic I'm not actually too sure but either way they married uh oh who's actually deceased they've both died oh no maybe may oh maybe my daughter got killed and this is a cause for war then let's go let's go let's go I might also remarry as well uh there's really no reason not to so let's try and seek a wife there We'll quickly shove in all of our positions. You can stay there because you're a governor. You can definitely go up to a Castellian. You can stick down there. And that's everyone right. Cool. Yeah, that's everyone in positions. Perfect. So yeah, unfortunately, Genoa declared war on us. Probably, maybe my wife, like, there was rumors that my wife had killed the 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 duke the 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 doge is it Do doge is venice i'm not sure let me know in the comments down below what is the head of genoa called because they were in a republic at this point so yeah let me know uh what the right word to use there is but yeah maybe maybe my uh my what my daughter killed him because he did something and then that sparked this war off or maybe it was against provence i don't know uh, just trying to create some some sanity out of it so i think what we're going to do after dealing with this army we're not actually at war with anyone else in Iberia. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my king's army and I'm going to take this army and I'm going to send them back over here to pillage the lands of Genoa because obviously we're not really doing great for money right now and I think securing their lands would be extremely profitable for our treasuries and that would then bankroll us for the rest of our conquests into... Oh, maybe. Uh, no, no, we won't do that. Um, yeah, maybe that, that will then bankroll us for the rest of the battles. Now, the thing is, I'm not sure if this would work. If we were to make a peace treaty with them, would all of my vassals then also make a peace treaty? Because if that was the case, I'd be more than happy to do this. But I'm also scared that they won't. And if they don't, then, um, you know, obviously then all my allies are just at war with them and I'm not. And I would like to go conquer some land. Actually, what we'll do, we'll test this out. Because, as I said, this campaign is coming to an end either at the end of this episode. Maybe I'll do one more, um, you know, in the next couple episodes. Just because, you know, the game isn't fully developed yet. There's no point really committing to a campaign save. So, in, in the purpose of testing this out to see what this does, let's accept peace. And yes, it does. Awesome. That's perfect, then. Just a, a small, small war. Because one of the things I hated in Rome 2 is when your vassals went to war with someone, they, they still went to war even though you made peace. So that's actually a really cool feature in Attila that makes it so that if your vassals are also at war with someone, they make peace as well. Like, you make peace as, like, an alliance, which I actually think is kind of cool. Yeah, so they attacked me over here. We are obviously obviously auto resolving this battle there is no way in a hell you could get me to fight this battle suck it if if we come across another army like this and we haven't had a battle because unfortunately we didn't get a battle last episode because of this exact same bug that is going around um yeah so like if we if this comes up loads i'll just fight one for fun because i think it'll be funny to watch me scream at the top of my lungs about how ridiculous crossbows are um yeah there's no way i'm fighting that many a few times of offices, we'll use all of their influence up. Good, good, good. Everyone's in. Perfect. That's going to be helping out the economy, military stuff. Um, so, yeah, nice. So, like, they do make peace with everyone. That is perfect. 
Um, it was a good thing we tested that because, as I said, I'd much rather go east uh, and deal with this, or west even, and deal with the Iberian factions than going ahead and, you know, fighting the Italians. The Italians would have been nice to try and take out. Um, that's also good to know as well for if I ever want to make peace with someone and, um, and like, force my allies to make peace with them as well. I can do that. That's kind of cool. Look at this, though. The Imperial Pretenders are now in the seat at Frankfurt. That is hilarious. <laughs> Look at that. That's hilarious. Uh, I don't know what went down here. I guess a rebellion succeeded. And then the HRE is sent more northwards. I assume they still hold a decent amount of territory here. But yeah, they're at war with everyone. The HRE has just crumbled. And stuff like this will be more fine-tuned through scripts so that the HRE doesn't crumble. Um, obviously, you know, I think they got excommunicated in their first turn. Which obviously would not generally happen. But it does mean we can basically focus on the conquest down here. Uh, I'm going to bring my spy, or my priest, sorry, into this region so we can deploy him and start converting this religion. Because at the moment, they are obviously extremely very sunny Muslim. And we want to try and start converting them. We do have Catholicism going up very quickly, actually. 5%. My god. I wonder why. I guess, you know, Castile have a bunch. But even still, do not expect it to go up that much. We're obviously going to build a chapel here. Chapels are pretty decent. And then maybe something for sanitation, even though sanitation isn't going to be an issue, really. Uh, if we build that church, more money from the Jews could be kind of good. Um, yeah, it could definitely not be too bad. Uh, or water mill for more, like, manufacturing goods and start boosting that out. I think, actually, happiness is going to be our main issue. So let's actually build, uh, what is it? What's the one which is just, like, an open field that we can convert? It is a field, right? Or is that, no, that's just more to do with food. So what's the building? Is it this? No. Do we have the option to build it? I guess we don't in these smaller ones. We don't have the option. Oh, yeah, because it's like a commercial building. Out of interest, these all give public order and squalor. And we don't need food right now. So I guess we'll go down this manufacturing goods thing. Um, but again, we can't really get much of that. We go all the way down here. My God. He makes some serious money from the Jews. Um, fuck it. Let's go just... Again, the sanitation one, we can't really go down either. Obviously, a lot of these buildings just aren't... I mean, we'll get this one because it gives public order. So let's build a town barracks here. This is like the garrison building. It also allows us to unlock a few units as well down here. So that can't be bad. But the main thing I'm looking forward to down here is obviously going to be... Um, I guess we'll... Yeah, that's what... Oh, that's what I'm... That's why we can't get it. Because we already have one. That makes a lot more sense. Um, because we already have a city square. And that's probably preventing us from building multiple in one city you can build multiple i think in these places uh, we actually do have another one over in what in barcelona interesting we already have a church building we have a bigger church monastery right here so sanitation should be very decent here so maybe we could actually i mean the thing is actually you know i don't know what to do really like i don't know what to pick up we don't really know what do we need public order is fine here uh religious is, stuff is fine so maybe just more money um, construction cost isn't really huge, not really a big enough issue for us to worry about. We don't really need more nobles, um, so let's just pick up a fairground, why not? It does give us that minus one state religion, but it gives us 750 gold, like, that's too good not to pick up, it really, really is. Um, also, uh, I did get, someone did, uh, one of the modders pointed out that my noble cap isn't actually working on France right now, so in, when they, and they fixed it for the next patch that will hopefully be coming out soon enough, but after we finish this campaign, um, so yeah, this has now been fixed, uh, these units right here, no, not these units, uh, these units right here with classes nobles, uh, same with these guys as well would all be nobles, and that would, uh, take away a lot of money and stuff from my, uh, treasuries, I'm kind of happy it hasn't, <laughs> it isn't working right now, because I think I'm definitely over my cap, same with these guys as well, and all of this, so yeah, I think I'd definitely be over my cap right now, so hey, let's not complain, let's not complain. So we also need to set a new war target. We're not at war with anyone down here now, are we? No. I guess we can just send them off to go and fight. I could also... Oh, that's something I should do. I should send my vassals off on crusade. Let's do it. Let's see if they'll actually go. Because that'll be really interesting. We'll follow that. Yeah, we'll send the war target off here. And I'll see if they'll actually go to Alexandria. I mean, Provence already is. You go, Provence. That's probably why I can see it. Hell yeah. We'll send the other guys off as well and just see if they'll, they'll go over there. That's awesome. Um, I should really go on Crusade as well. But I am on Crusade over here in the east. Or west. I don't know why I keep on calling it east. The English better not come back. We do have an army. 
kind of ready. I, I kind of want to defend defensive ally them in case England declare war on me. Mimflans, yeah, fuck it. Well, I mean, like as I said, the campaign's gonna be over when we probably take over the whole of Spain. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, let's just defend. Just in case England declare war on us, we at least have Flanders here to go and sort them out. Even though they are both defensive allies themselves, it would still be nice to, to see that. I'm really excited to see if anyone else goes on Crusade. I mean, realistically, we should also go on Crusade. Ooh. Uh, Portugal? <laughs> Lisbon? I mean, the, the reason as well why Lisbon isn't the capital of Portugal is it wasn't at this historical time point. As well as that, I think it's done for trading purposes as well to allow the uh, Portuguese to trade with more people or something at the beginning of the game to, to kind of bounce them out a little bit. So our oh, non-aggressions, no, uh, faction encountered the Mamluks. Was that the Mamluks? Oh no, the Mamakai. Oh my god, what are you doing, Provence? I mean, uh, the Nenios. What are you up to? That's why we can see all of this, because these guys are wrecking havoc. And then Provence are coming down as well. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, Brandenburg are a faction as well. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Brandenburg are alive. We can make Prussia a bit early. So we've got our churches built, which are great. Um, that's cool, though. That, 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 that One of my vassals has just gone on crusade. That really, really is cool. Um, so what do we want to do over here? We want to probably convert this into something that will give us religious stuff or, like, religious security. And we'll just try and convert the entire region. It looks like this, the, the donated firth, gives us free Catholic Christian uh, stuff. Takes away a bit of food, but also gives us research rate. And I think it's too bad. So basically, I think what this province is basically telling me is that we're kind of like allowing the administration to be outside of Paris, which is not a bad idea. Or, or maybe not. Okay, actually no, by reading the description, it suggests that we've kind of given this over to the church to run more than anything else. Which, hey, I, um, I'm more than okay with. So I just want to bring this guy up a little bit further. He can't do anything quite yet, uh, but that's fine. Our armies are fully replenished and these regions are becoming happy, which is perfect. Um, again, we can probably make this into a market town. It is a coastline province. Oh, no, it's not. It's this one right here. And we can make it into a, a market province. Why the hell not? And our armies are preparing. Does everyone have 20 units? They do. Yeah, everyone has 20 units, which is perfect. All of this building. we got another church built over here. Our economy is not in a great state, I'm not going to lie. And this region has been uh, pretty ravaged by raiding and stuff. And it's just generally not happy uh, much at all. It's unfortunate, I guess, because our governor died. So maybe he just needs a little bit of time to level up. Everyone is in position, right? Oh, uh, we should level up our son as well, or marry our son. Because we now have a wife as well. Um, we just got a wife. What is she? She is not very good. She lowers the king's stats. Well, the king is going to die soon. Um, we should definitely go ahead and throw our son to have a wife and we'll, we'll develop him for sure. Hopefully have some more children. That's why I'm really, I know I mentioned this in the last episode, but I'm really looking forward to that feature, uh, when the game goes to one term per year. Um, and again, as I'm saying, like, I'm sure there will have millions of mods out there to make it four turns a year if that's what you want to play. But the game and technology will be balanced for one turn a year. Uh, which I think will be better for the game. So because of that, I'm really looking forward to marrying off all my children and actually playing somewhat of a political game. Now, obviously, it's going to be nowhere near as complex in character development as any other, you know, Paradox game like CK2 or something, but it's still going to have that little bit of flavour, which I think will just add a lot to the campaign. What do you guys think of that? It being one turn a year, do you think you guys will play a bit, a bit more of a dip diplomatic game by marrying in your families and stuff? Um... Do let me know. Oh, a, a, a new child has been born. A rebellion where down here, and we have a, uh, a wife as well. Yeah, definitely. She seems clean. She definitely does seem suitable. Oh no! Oh no! Our son is blind. No, that is him, right? Or is that someone else called Philip? Oh, I think it's. I think it's someone else called Philip. Who? This guy is blind. I think it's this guy. Oh, thank God. Thank God for that. So basically, his, his tra traits are all useless now. So we're going to want to re replace him with someone. Um, is everyone else a governor or of something, right? Yo, you're a statesman, so you can you... I mean, you're mainly for defending, right? Do we have anyone else who's a good scholar? A scholar would be good. Um, so let's go ahead and... 
replace you. So you're the governor of Aquitaine. Uh, let's find your character. How do I replace him as a governor? Oh, over on the governor's screen, of course. <laughs> Who would have thought it? Um, so unfortunately, my dude, out you go. And then we will pick this dude right here. And I think Aquitaine is going to be, again, our best bet. We could also make a governor over here and... Uh, Go ahead and check that out by you know improving public order and stuff by doing this one for religious tolerance to make them a little bit less happy whilst we convert them. But that would also reduce my own um that would also reduce my own religious stuff. So we're gonna get a rebellion out here, nothing we can really do. You know, the religious indifferences is causing some serious unhappiness. But rebellions, you know, this kind of comes part and parcel, and we are converting them very quickly. We're already up to twenty nine percent, so I can't complain there. I think that we will start to prepare because this region is going to become happy soon enough and I don't think we need any more sanitation. So I think I'll go for the public order one or maybe we can pick up the, uh, maybe we'll pick up the military order one. That could be very fun to have a few Templars in our army as well. Oh yeah, we need to do this, but unfortunately we can't because um, the one we want is going to be taken away and he leveled up as well. Perfect. Yeah, money is a money is actually kind of a big issue for us right now because we have four armies up and running. That's going to be costing quite a lot. Oh, Aragon's come for a fight. Uh, unfortunately, Aragon doesn't really have a, a, a fight left in them. But as you can see, this army is barely balanced. I would have loved to have fought this army if it was full strength. Um, but there's just no point fighting it right now. And uh, this is this is this is still a, a few too many crossbows, but it's it's fine, you know. That's not like anything I'd want to punch myself in the face over. But the auto resolve, you know, it's just it just won't be a fun battle. I'm hoping the uh, caliphate to the south of us will have a few more extra men. Uh, we also have to deal with this rebellion. I might let the rebellion spawn for a couple turns though. If you dare. Like, I don't know what England are doing, but we do not have military access, so they should know their place. Your lands. <laughs> You're not getting military access either. I don't want anyone who they, who shouldn't be in my lands in my lands. That is a certainty. Everyone who should be here can be here, but everyone who shouldn't can piss off to Jerusalem and go on crusade. We'll actually go and check that as well. I want to see. I want to keep, keep up to date to see how Provence and the rest of my allies are doing over there. Lisbon has fallen. Yeah, there's a lot of agents over here as well, which I'm not a fan of. But we should now actually have... Yeah, that's going to be awesome, actually. Our tavern should now be built as well. Uh, Brandenburg's at war with the Holy Roman Empire. Interesting. I mean, the Holy Roman Empire is basically nothing. Okay, yeah, that's raiding going on. That's fine. Uh, we should have a tavern built soon as well. So our church, I think we're going to go... For, oh, this could be the military order one, actually. That give us, like, all of our money. Or we could go for the public order version. I think we'll go for the military order one here because it's kind of in more of a, a worrying zone. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll also go down and kill the rest of Castile. Just finish them off. Nothing too um, great to be had there. And then we'll go back to the city, obviously, as well. And yeah, as I said, I think I'll let this rebellion grow. As you can see, the rebellions are a little bit messed up right now. But again, that's something that will be fixed in future versions of the game. We'll let one more turn of happiness here. Was our tavern built yet out of interest? Because we were building one, right? Or were we building one over here? I swear I was building a tavern somewhere. Maybe up here? No, I don't know where I was building it, Then I must have... I, I could have sworn. Maybe I replaced it by mistake. Oh, no, there we go. There's the tavern. Perfect. So we should now be able to recruit warriors and also spies. I really want to go ahead and get a spy. Um, we'll get the watchman as well because he'll be much better. Yeah, Aragon's been destroyed. He'll be much better at scouting this out and he'll be able to see a lot more because of his movement thing. So I would basically just plop him like right here so we can see all of his territory. You'll deploy yourself now as well. Again, help that conversion. We're already up to 31%. It's slowing up, but it should hopefully go up even more when we get this as well. And this. So yeah, nothing to really worry about. The spies on the move. That is going to be all our cash. How has oh, they've taken some land in the Holy Land? Look at that. They've taken this gold province as well. And they're recruiting immediately. <laughs> Shout out to them. Provence is about to land as well. Uh, I might actually set my goal on another province, right? Like here? Because then maybe they'll... Wait, is that not Provence? That is Provence, I guess. Or is it not? Does it just look like their pitch? No, yeah, that is Provence. I mean, hopefully they can take a little bit of land right here and then move on. This has also been burnt to the ground by someone as well. 
The Aeobid Sultanate, I imagine, would be a really difficult campaign to do. Just because everyone goes to war with you on the Crusades. Oh, also, look at our picture as well. Our, our kind of circle is definitely the biggest one. These guys have gotten a little bit bigger. Um, so cool, let's try and sort out our money issues. Because we are having a, a few problems right now. Um, we're going to go to war with you, which will be a fun war. Because you are power ranking 4. So you should have plenty of good armies. Does anyone else want to trade with me now? What if I offered you a little bit of cash? I don't have a lot of cash, but I could offer you a bit. We also are probably producing a ton of wine as well. No, that's fine. Anyone else? Do we have possible trade? Epirus, I'd love to trade with you. Because you'd also give me some vision over there as well. I should be asking these guys for money uh, for my trade goods, but whatever. The English, I mean... No, okay. England, England, like, nah, fam. You good. You good. You guys, again, I would, I'd love to see what's going on up there. Nice, more trade. So this should hopefully boost our income by at least a couple hundred ducats. I mean, we're, as I say, we're going to get a war with you and you're not, you won't trade with me. So yeah, boosted our income by like 400 gold. So that's not bad. Considering we have this many armies, kind of happy with that. I would love to also get Paris to become a little bit happier. Um, and these other regions are also kind of struggling. I don't know what you're doing, England, but watch yourself. That's all I can say. Watch yourself. Also, this region is kind of only happy because of military presence. There's a lot of other unhappiness uh, kind of plaguing us. But oh well, that's uh, oh yeah. We can now do the Aquitaine Edict as well. Uh, what one was it? Was it this one? More wealth from agriculture and growth. I think it was. I think we were trying to obviously level this up. But again, maybe that's not the best one to do. Maybe the reduction in taxes would be better just to keep the province happy. I honestly don't know. Um, again, the English are going back finally. I know they're going to come and raid me. I know it. But I don't want to go to war with them. It's just kind of annoying. Oh, please, Provence, go and take that territory. <laughs> It'd be so amazing if you did. So amazing. You guys are my holy crusade. Oh, no, Provence, no! Oh, God. Well, at least they tried. They did more than me in this crusade. They did more than me in this crusade. Anyway, I'm fighting my own religious wars in Spain, so... We're doing more of a Charlemagne-esque... Swords of Justice are trespassing. It's these fuckers, isn't it? And they're just going to go and raid me. I might actually just go and kill them, if I'm honest. Like, I'm, I'm kind of a bit sick of their shit. And I might just go and deal with them, because they're going to make my entire region unhappy. So I might just recruit up some, uh, some decent, like, some, just, just, me I guess we need kind of cavalry, though, as well, yeah. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll, they'll probably go away soon. Trait gain, procrastinator. Is that my my dude? No, he's just unsure about the afterlife, so he's a bit less religious. Hey, having an atheist is fine. Um, research right wait rate is pretty good, but again, it's not really like it's going to be a a problem for us. So yeah, let's just give him a military advisor for more tradition. Anything else that gives him more personal influence is good. A good sword. And then, yeah, sure. That's, you know, it's kind of grooming for command. Because as I said, our king is not, you know, he's not, uh, he's not too, too young. So, he's going to die soon enough. Getting our spies now done as well. Perfect. Let this rebellion grow. Uh, no, we'll kill this rebellion now. Okay, so they have a lot of men. And these armies are fine to fight. I'm happy to fight these armies, so it's good. I guess we want to see what's down here. But we're going to need all our forces here. So let's kill the rebellion now. Hopefully this will give us some form of public order bonuses. No, we're still extremely unhappy here. I actually only just with the army garrisoned. That's not too bad. Try and actually pick that up and then we'd be almost happy. And let's just grab the melee defense on this infantry. This is a good army to have. Um, again, we'll give this province one more turn so that this can build. And it will probably build the uh, happiness built one here as well. Because there'd be minus 10 unhappy if we left. But it's fine. We're obviously going to leave soon. And this army can make its way down again to fight out. But we're going to probably need something here to help kill the rebellions. So we are just spamming for the turns. But we're just preparing ourselves. There's a little bit of maintenance that needed to happen. And good. The English are going back to whence they came. Don't really know what. I think the AI is just bored. He's like, yeah, I've got nothing to do right now. I can't go to war with France. I'm fighting a few wars over in the HRE, but nothing too serious. I wonder if England are at war with all the, all the factions that the HRE are. 
Oh, well, obviously we'll enter on the side of our vassals <laughs> as they try and defend the Holy Land. Uh, I mean, it's not really the Holy Land. Obviously, it's more like this area, the Crusades. But even still, reconquering the lost Roman uh, land. Mission issued, be at war with the Anaman Caliphate, which is these guys, right? And that will give us more bonuses from presence of Latin culture. Are we, we're not Latin, but we're, I think it means Christian. Again, it's probably a little uh, bug fix. Um, but what I will do, actually, is I will take a screenshot of that and send it to the 1212 guys so they can fix out the wording of that. Because um, I don't, because it says Latin culture, right? Uh, uh, public presence. Oh, Latin Christianity. Okay, my bad, my bad. Right, I only, you know, it serves me right for only reading a little bit of that. Can you convert anything else? So cunning, what does this give to low corruption? That's not really a big issue right now. Preach tolerance could be not be bad. And then pre and any of these do anything too special? Oh, that's not bad. Spreads more religion. Let's just go bang and then brang. Can you do that to my own buildings or just these ones? So it wouldn't be a bad idea, right? To preach intolerance. Oh no, that just increases religious unhappiness. Okay, ignore me then. Ignore me and you're doing your thing right there. So where do their armies go? They were up here, right? I guess maybe south? Okay, well, we'll come around here. So they've got a full stack right here, which is replenishing. And then they've got uh, pretty empty armies. But I think they were mainly up here somewhere. So this will, this will be happy next time. I actually might leave it until it is happy. And then it gives this a better chance to build as well. This region is also kind of unhappy. And the military order barracks will be built soon as well. Okay, one more turn. One more turn and then we will go to war. You can move down south to Toulouse. Sure. Um, but again, we do kind of need some sort of happiness here. Maybe we could just lower taxes to boost for happiness. But it doesn't really give us enough happiness. Maybe we destroy something here. Oh, do we need two fairgrounds? Do we need this cattle herd? It does give us some nice food, but... But it's also... Actually, let's lower this down. This has been a thorn in my side for some time. But it gives us so much money. We just can't afford to do that. And the monastery is pretty good. We just need like a happiness. We actually do have a happiness monastery here as well. But public order is just awful. We just don't really have enough buildings giving us bonuses. I mean this should be giving us seven. But it says it's not. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to destroy this. Um, it will give us the public order back a little bit. And then we can build like another church here or something. I guess. Yeah. Don't really know what else to do. I guess we could get one of these. But we need the money. Uh, we really, really do. We could build, like, one of these, maybe. More more religion here. Tavern. We already have taverns. Yeah, maybe we'll replace our other food building with a tavern as well. Um, so we'll, if we're going to build anything here, what would it be? We already have a guard post here. With military quarters. Which is going to, you know, again, really, yeah. Maybe we'll build a military quarters over here. And that'll be more than enough to keep the happiness going. Oh, we, maybe we could just do it here, right? Oh, we... No, it's a different building, right? Yeah, we could change it to a barracks from a mustering ground. Oh, this is Aquitaine, though. But again, Aquitaine does need the happiness as well. So let's do that. That would help out happiness. And then we'll do the same over here as well um, to build it. Yeah, that seems like a good plan. So yeah, one more turn and then we will start this war with the Caliphate. I'm actually taking take us two episodes to finish, I think. England, seriously, I will do you in a second. He admires strong empires. That's good. Because I am a strong empire. Power ranking two. I don't actually know who is power ranking one. It's someone I haven't met. So it's either someone like Hungary or Poland or someone just in the east. No. 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 Oh, my God. Hold strong, my brothers. Hold strong. There's a ton of resources out here by the Ayyubid Sultanate. So I imagine they're extremely rich. Provence is also up. Oh no, they've retreated? Did they they abandoned the city and fled for their lives. And then this random faction took it as well. Is that a Kingdom Come Deliverance picture? I think it is. It looks cool. And we destroyed that. And then we were going to finally destroy this, right? Yeah, we're going to destroy this and then build a trading grounds here. 
This army is going to actually have to stay up here, though, because they're going to have a rebellion soon. We'll have to quell that. Oh, this is really happy now. Why are you guys so happy all of a sudden? Military presence, obviously, but buildings are really starting to kick in. Um, okay, cool. We should be able to leave this region now without it being, like, kind of absolutely catastrophic. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be unhappy, but what are you going to do? They said we have buildings on the way. This is going to be done soon. I want the vineyard, so maybe we... Again, I don't want to get rid of any of these economic buildings either. Where are their armies, though? Again, that's what I want to kind of find out. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I don't know where their armies have gone, but I guess we will push up next turn. Our military order building will be done soon as well, so we'll make some room for them. Probably get rid of these guys um, and just build the, the Templars or something in that army, which would be kind of cool. Anyone else sending over any more ships? Papal State, I think, is going on Crusade, but he could just be going to ruin Sicily. Who knows? And then, yeah, they literally abandoned the city and fled for their lives. <laughs> brave, brave warriors of Christ. Our diplomas, I mean, our thing is almost done. We're soon to have the next level of military. <laughs> Obviously, these being adjusted for the four years of turn. Uh, I, I am really looking forward to them only being one time. Um, I wouldn't mind as well a variant to make them just just shorter because i don't really mind i'm not looking to play any long campaigns so it would be kind of cool to have a quicker version of tech maybe like two times tech or something would be kind of nice uh for at least video purposes because that way we're at least kind of you know experiencing a lot of the tech and going because right now we, we can't really get through any of the tech by the time we finish up these campaigns um okay cool i'm ready for battle now it's been far too long before, since we've had a battle so let's look for one now. I mean, we could even just go to war with the English. <laughs> Wouldn't be too bad. It's winter, so the worst possible time to go to war. But hey, we hunger for battle. Let's just dive in there. We'll try and find their armies. I don't know where they are. So yeah, we did. should hopefully have now built that over here. And let's build that. Oh, we don't actually have a stone cutter here. I mean, that's so good not to have. But we need to sort out the happiness, right? Because... Yeah, even with a military presence, you're still just, just not happy. At all. Um, and these are expensive units as well. I'm just leaving here. I might just replace these guys. And just recruit, like, some weaker infantry. Because that's, like, a lot of our money right there. Um, nice, he became patriotic. That's good. But, yeah, we were going to build that military barracks there. So, we need to find the town barracks right there, yeah. Gives us five public order, takes up some food and a little bit of cash, but all worth it in the end. This army can now build Templars. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. And Templar cavalry as well. We've got Teutonic order cavalry. Yeah, two, two, uh, two Teutonic order cavalry and then the Hospitallers and Templars. Let's pick up what's better. They're the same. But these guys have the discipline trait. And these guys don't. Okay, interesting. I guess we'll get the Templars then. They take two turns to recruit. Wow. And we can only have two of them. I guess we hit a limit of them. Um, and the more of these buildings we have, the, the better. Yeah, military order cap. So there's a military order up here somewhere. Now that we have it. I don't think it is, but it probably will be at some point. It'd be obviously a way to see that. So I guess we'll draw out, draw them out. Everyone hates them, obviously. Here we go, the war to end all wars down here. So we'll siege out this settlement right away. Uh, we might fight it, actually, depending on what they do. And we'll we'll send an army here to blockade the path, if they do try anything. We could even fortify this as well. Yeah, we'll fortify this to prevent them from really doing anything. We could just auto-resolve this, obviously, but I'm looking for a battle, so I'm going to try and draw them out. Um, and then this province can still keep this dude here for now. As well. What was I going to build over here as well? I think I had a plan. We already have a, a barracks here for public order. I'll oh, upgrade that. And we still can't upgrade this yet. But that's fine. Um, and religious tolerant. Yeah, we, we are converting this. I almost, almost got majority culture. How much longer until we do have majority culture? Uh, not long. Like literally two or three more turns. Perfect. And this is actually happy about the armies here as well now. That's even better. And France, winter has been good for us. I don't know why. Maybe we just got a really bad uh, condition or something. 
Um, but yeah, regions all seem to become suddenly happy. And we now succeed Abyss, so our region should be even happier. Um, oh, they got a three-star general there. That's not bad. He'll be fun to fight against. <laughs> I don't want to go. I mean, the HRE is basically a 3,000 gold. The HRE is just collapsed, basically. <laughs> but no. I would just say no. Yeah, I think, I think them being... Um, excommunicated that early on just ruined them. That's something that probably shouldn't happen. Or, like, or too much, but I guess it did happen this time. <laughs> and yeah, there you go. So I'm sure they'll add in scripts as, because the, the, the 1212 campaign has a ton of really amazing scripts that, that they're being worked on. And it's like one of the big pulls to the game is all these cool, interesting scripts and stuff. Unfortunately, mercenaries aren't in the game right now. Um, but yeah, like it'll be really cool if you do have like loads of internal order stuff to get people under control. And maybe there can be a few events as well to subjugate people and bring them inside the HRE. There's actually a rebellion right here, but again, we want to see where their armies are. So we have one army there. Is that all? Is that all you can muster, Saruman? Crusader Kings, we're done. <laughs> We are the Crusader Kings. I mean, it's just crazy how expensive all this stuff is. This tech is actually really cheap now. Why is it so cheap? I don't know. It's suddenly become really, really cheap. I guess the military tech will just be a little bit more expensive. Well, you actually picked up a few of these, uh, which wouldn't have been too bad. And I, I, I'll keep on mentioning it because I'm sure I'll get some comments from people saying, why is it so expensive? It's only that expensive due to the fact that the uh, mod hasn't got the other parts of the tech tree yet. So you know, just, just imagine that tree uh, tripled and then we'll have the four turns. So just imagine this times four of more tech and then obviously the time will be reduced by four times. So it'll be much, much quicker. So we've taken this region now. Cool, good. We don't have a population surplus, so let's just bring that down. That port can be brought back. The musk can obviously be destroyed, but we'll just destroy all of these buildings. We don't want that one there. Camel heart, and we don't really need food either, so we'll reduce that. We've now secured this area, and hopefully we can draw their army into an open battle. Obviously, this region has now become really unhappy now as well, but we're really close to being the dominant culture, so that's good. Our armies are fine. Yeah, you're just in Paris now, hopefully sorting out. And once this is built as well, the happiness should be flourishing in our capital. So the Caliphate is moving northwards. Okay. Luckily, we have an army up here. And I might see if we can get our priests to do something against their priests or their... I don't know, don't know what their, theirs would be called in the game. But their religious figures, we'll try and, we'll try and disable them somehow. Whether it's through our own political actions or, or something. And I might send out this army. The army recruiting the Templars. I might send them out to go and fight the army in the field. Hopefully it's a good army. And not just crossbows. They are raiding. So they are still causing some havoc there. <laughs> That's funny. I'd laugh if that rebel faction as well took Granada. I think that would be quite funny. Castile got destroyed. Oh, God. By who? Did these guys liberate them or what? Oh, Castilian pretenders. Interesting. Well, we know they have an army up here and I want to find it so we can go and kill it. So it's right there. So let's go and charge it down. We have the new Templars in our army. Let's engage them. Why not? They'll run away. We can still catch them by perfect. And that's a half decent army. If it wasn't for their, their men being wounded, I would be. Uh, we're going to fight it anyway. They still have a ton of crossbows, which are scary. We have the cavalry advantage. This will be a good battle. Our infantry line should crush them, though, as we have basically our strongest infantry we've, we've ever had. This will be this will be fun, you know? If only they had, like, a few less uh, crossbows, like two less crossbows and a couple units of spears or a couple more units of knights. They're going to be a really balanced army. I mean, already, these armies aren't bad. It's just. A lot of crossbows. Um, what the fuck is this battlefield? I guess I'll deploy up here then. Imagine fighting up here. If it was the other way around, it was flipped. My god. So I guess we'll just form up like so. Um, we'll obviously have the missiles in loose formation on the front line. To absorb everything they have. 
And then our cavalry, I guess, can just sit further back a little bit. Because we're going to need to use this cavalry a little bit later on. And then these pikemen as well can be a little bit thinner. Um, I mean, they're not really... They are pikemen. They're short pikes, though. You guys can just form. So let's take a look at our Templars. I mean, we've seen them a million times. But this is the first time we're seeing them in campaign. And they do obviously look very, very nice. Can't complain. And they're also fairly well experienced as well. Three chevrons, not bad. And then the Hospitellers as well. I wonder why the Hospitellers don't have a Discipline trait, but the Templars do. They're hidden right now. Okay, let's start this battle then. I think I will want to try and move towards them as well. Try and catch them a little bit off guard. Like, I wouldn't mind going like there. They're obviously going to deploy all the way back here, which again is fine. I really, really love as well the music pack that has been added to 1212. Music was not a hard, not an easy thing to mod. It was extremely time consuming. So the fact that they got all this music in is absolutely amazing. I really hope that uh, Rise of Mordor managed to get all their music in to the game. Because that music pack is so, so good. And there's like a lot of tracks as well. There's like a good 40, 50 tracks. So I really hope they managed to find their way into the game. The Crusaders march north. We can't actually see the enemy either yet. So we'll just triple speed out. There's no need for... Oh, we might as well run, actually. There's no reason not to. So it'd be perfect if we can engage them, like, here. Obviously, their crossbows will demolish me. There's actually a ridge here. Okay, interesting. Yeah, there's actually a, a ridge here. So I might try and look to engage them, like, here, maybe. They're going to camp on that hill, which is pretty smart of them. So we are going to have to advance forward a little bit. Again, there's another ridge right here as well. That's interesting. I did. Uh, we'll just go like here. And I guess our plan is just to push up the hill as much as, as much as we can. We'll go and commit this cavalry off to the woods. I think we have to commit all of our cavalry over onto this left-hand side. And we'll be bringing ourselves into bear very, very quickly. Are these traps or are these just stones? They're just stones. Okay. There's a lot of them, though. I kind of feel like these are traps. <laughs> In some way or another, like mines or something. Oh, God, the battle has started. Um, okay, cool. Well, let's get our infantry up then. I did not think they would charge me. But that's good. Our crossbows should be slaughtering their, their crossbow cavalry. So I'm more than okay for this to be a thing. I'm going to probably actually have to commit back these two, though, to protect them. The rest of them should be fine, though. And the cavalry is what over here? Yeah, waiting to be sent in. So the infantry line should be fine. You know, we shouldn't really run into much issues when it comes to it. And we'll throw in the Templars first as well, and the Hospitellers. But we are fighting their stronger infantry, though. But again, they're so wounded that it shouldn't be too bad. The combat should be somewhat in my favor. Can you guys just shoot that? We have these pikemen as well. I guess you guys try and shoot that, maybe. Pikemen have to get committed over here. And the cavalry is very close to now coming into play. Uh, no, don't, don't move, don't move. Just pause. And we'll slow mo as well so we can actually watch some of this. I love the look of the Caliphate infantry. They're so cool. Like, all the Eastern infantry are just really vibrant. And they have really unique looks. And these apple shields with eyes. I really do dig them. Battle is taking a turn for the better, I'm hoping. As now the Hospitella Knights do engage. I don't know where their, their elite infantry are. I think they're more in the center. The central parts like these. Yeah, here we go. These are their, their stronger tier 1 infantry. But we should be able to deal with them without too many issues. Uh, is that cavalry coming in? It is. So let's start charging them down, boys. Um, I was thinking me and Apollo were talking as well about starting a head-to-head -head campaign. So if you guys want to see that, do let me know in the comments down below. Um, if that is something that you would be interested in. Nice. Our pikes are down as well, so... If they do charge in, we should be fine. There you go. Perfect. Now, we might even send our king to go and deal with these guys as well. Just charge them up and then go rear charge them. Why not? Uh, let's do some rear charges. Even though the cross killing the crossbows is pretty important, I don't want to rear charge them here. Oh, that's a big, big charge right there. Should be enough to almost break them, surely. Rest of our cavalry coming forward. I want one of you guys to definitely chase them down. And you guys continue just to bypass the rest of their men. 
They do still have some crossbows over here. We need to be careful. But yeah, we've won this side now. Perfect. They didn't really have a super healthy army. They didn't really have the infantry line to hold me in this one. So I think we're going to come out on top, luckily. Can all of you crossbows deal with that cavalry, please? And we are taking a few casualties on the front line with the Knights nice Templar. But it's mainly our crossbows of the dudes who have taken casualties in this one. But yeah, as I was saying, me and Apollo were thinking about starting a head-to-head -head as like uh, Genoa and... Um, yeah, either Genoa and Venice, or maybe we can do someone else in Iberia could be kind of cool. Like the Caliphate and uh, Castile would be awesome, maybe. I don't know, we're still undecided. Um, I think we're going to wait for the next update of the mod as well, before we really dive in. Good, the king has... Uh, oh, not the king, but the, the infantry have won there. We've won here as well. Good, good, good. Yeah, it seems like we're killing the crossbows perfectly. That's good to see. Battle is probably pretty much in my favour, but at least we got one now. It's been ages since we last received a good battle in this campaign. You know, two episodes almost. So I'm happy we at least got one. And I think in future as well. I mean, France is like one of the easier factions to play. I think next time we will play as someone like the Caliphate or maybe someone in Italy where it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, let's just charge in there. You guys are still trying to catch them. My God. That cavalry is annoying me as well. There you go. It's finally routed. Infantry have completely broken there. Great. Throwing in this cavalry to help out. You guys should bring over your asses and then, yeah, we'll finish them off. You go kill that. Your, this, this melee cavalry is really struggling. Don't know why, but they look extremely armoured. They've lost a lot of horses against just some measly crossbows. I was not expecting that. Okay, let's just crush in on my general now. You guys come around here as well, as well as these pikemen can come in. We'll fire in our king and we'll war cry them as well. Yeah, nice. That's all of them dead. If you can make it back, try. The rest of you come flying down there. You're about to wrap that. We'll send a unit of infantry over to help this fight as well. Because this cavalry is now engaged against infantry. So they're going to be having a little bit of a harder time. But maybe we can get this cavalry to come up and, and help out. Yeah, there we go. Cavalry is going to be enough to hopefully dismantle these crossbows. Charge them down as well. Don't let them escape. Perfect. Uh, did our king come up? He did. Let's war cry against these guys. Uh, you guys can kill the king. And you guys can charge in there. And we'll war cry right there as well. Their, their general is going to get taken down. You will be remembered in history as getting completely slaughtered. And that should be enough to finish them off, I think. Especially now that our infantry is turned up. Didn't really have to use our crossbows much. Maybe you guys steal bad, so there we go. The battle is done. Killing my general. We didn't take too many casualties, thankfully. I think that was mainly down to the fact that we won the battle. Yeah, too much. Oh my god. That was a slaughter. That really was an absolute slaughter. They just didn't have any cavalry, and they needed it. When we never come up against a faction with a lot of cavalry, it's a much harder to kill them than, say, that. That was a slaughter, though. But obviously, balancing is still very much a work in progress. I hope they have more armies than this. Like, again, obviously, this is an alpha, so we're gonna we're bound to run into issues like that, where the AI just maybe isn't producing as much as it, as it could. But let's, uh, let's just try and, you know, take as much of this land as possible. Why not? Well, that's not a great siege for us. Why is it so... We've got a lot of slingers and archers, but... I guess we'll just continue to siege them. For now. Um, oh yeah, we can convert all of this as well. So we won the one, which is this. But, I mean, but really, really just tolerance soon is not to be an issue. I wouldn't mind just building a fort out here, maybe. A fort right here, because it is kind of can be assaulted by the sea. So yeah, let's do that. Oh, we'd also want to try and take out these dudes as well, because apparently we're at war with them. The Spanish rebels. And then you can march on over here next turn. This is... Uh, oh my god, these are the Italians. I actually never noticed. These are Italians. When the hell did they turn up? 
Yeah, these are these dudes. I guess they kind of sailed around and, and conquered that territory. Very interesting. But there we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode right there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. We had a, at least had a battle towards the end. We also had some crazy action. I think the army is coming home now. Um, ooh, Plague Bow and Alexandria. That could be good for them. But yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to drop a like and a comment. Next episode will probably be the last one in this France series. And we'll just look to kind of unify and take the rest of Iberia. I think that'd be more than enough. Maybe even taking Navarro just to kind of finish off our province and maybe Castile as well now. Um, so that way our borders look a bit more connected. And um, obviously, having all the, the Provencal stuff right there is pretty good. I mean, yeah, if you look at that, you see we have a pretty good border. Um, you know, in, in total with these four vassals to the to the east and then loads of territory down here to the south. So yes, if you enjoyed, drop a like and a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.